So enduro bikes, well, they used to be all mountain, long travel trail bikes, but then the Enduro World Series came about and then it became a prestigious UCI sport with the Enduro World Cup. So those bikes got fancy, didn't they? Yeah, what about these pro bikes? How fancy are they? Can I buy one and how much would it cost? Well, we've grabbed a handful of pro bikes, scrutinized around about 13 and ranked them from cheapest to most expensive, so stick around. Before we dive in, don't forget you can watch all the mountain bike pro racing over on GCN Plus live or on demand. Plus, you can head to GMBN Racing on YouTube for some highlights and some racing insight on the racing news show. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but a little disclaimer before we really jump into the detail here is that a lot of pros are riding prototypes and they're riding frame sets that are built up with custom parts and you may not be able to buy the frames yourself and individually spec it up. So this is a bit of a ballpark on the price of those pro bikes, but we will be going through how much it would cost to buy a top spec off the shelf as well. So. Um yeah, shall we dive in? Yeah, start with the cheapest, a uh, YT mob bike. This is Jack Moyer's YT Capra, the former uh, enduro champion. Mm. This is £6,630. Uh, SRAM access on there, the new T-Type drivetrain for £1,425. A similar spec Capra Uncaged is £5,999. And in the US, that gets an Olin's GX Eagle build as the top spec for $5,499. Both the cheapest top spec enduros off the shelf. Wow, so almost the fastest guy on the cheapest bike. Yeah. And then in second place, we've got the Sun French Connection with £7,585. So that is the Sun Ken. Now it is a prototype, so we've speculated on the price here, but with all of that FSA goodness, I mean, you can get a similar spec off the shelf uh, with the Sun Ken factory, which will be €6,035 or $6,478 US dollars. Over to Orange Factory Racing next for their Switch 7 as ridden by Tom Wilson. The price for this is £7,910. You've got Olin's kit on here, so the RXF38 fork, which costs £1,450. Shock is included with the frame, but that is an Olin's TTX2. For a similar bike off the shelf, it is £7,500 or US dollars Not bad. So Polygon Factory Racing, and you've got the likes of Matt Stuttard and Dan Wolf. They'll be riding on bikes circa £8,100. And obviously they're on a Polygon prototype at the moment, which isn't production, we've estimated that price. Uh, but previously they were around about £5,000 for the Colossus there. So um, yeah, bit of a disparity there when it comes to prototypes. New Proof Surround Factory Racing next. Their New Proof Mega 297 frame cost £2,499. Total build, we're estimating at £8,400. 30. Again, more SRAM on here with the XX drivetrain. Uh, Zeb Ultimate fork up front, £1,119. An access wireless dropper, £750. Uh, if we're talking about off the shelf bikes, the top spec Mega 297 has an air shot knock coil, uh, would be £6,399 or €7,299. Uh, then over to Canyon Collective Factory Enduro, who are running that brand new Strive, the CF29, or the CFR29, I should say. Um, and Jesse Melamed will be specking that with SRAM XX Axis Group set. All of the goodies getting that £9,270 price tag. Um, however, if you wanted to buy a top spec Strive off the shelf, the CFR TLD is £6,199 or €6,499. Euros. Somewhere around the middle price now for a pro enduro bike, we have the Orbea Fox Enduro team in there, Ramon. This is £9,420. You've got a Fox 38 factory fork for £1,349. The Orbea Oquo uh, MC32 aluminium rims on DT350 hubs, £700. Full Shimano XTR drivetrain, that's £925. 
Or if you're looking to buy one yourself, you get the Orbea M Team Rallon. That is £10,499. So potentially the fastest bike on this list is Richie Rude's Yeti SB160, coming in at £9,470 on that Yeti Fox factory racing team, um, and potentially the fastest women's actually as well. Um, and they'll be running the SB160 with Fox 38 factory, DHX Air, but just mechanical group set, so it'll be XTR as they're sponsored by Shimano. But if you wanted to buy the Yeti SB160 for yourself, then you're looking at SRAM X01 Mechanical for $7,900. For just £10 more than Richie Rude's bike, you could buy the Lapier Spicy as ridden by Isabeau Cordure. This is £9,480, making it the ninth uh, most expensive bike in this list. This has got RockShox parts, the Zeb Ultimate Fork, £1,119. Super Deluxe Ultimate Rear Shock. The very fancy Zip 30 motor wheel set, so carbon fibre, £1,645. Uh, but again, if you want a similar spec bike with the same wheels, that is £9,499 or €10,650. Wow, pretty close to off the shelf then. Um, over to Pivot Factory Racing, we have specced up Morgan Charles bike at £9,745. Uh, almost the most expensive, certainly one of the most expensive frames with that Firebird being around about four grand, um, and then some Renthal Goodness on there and XTR group set. However, if you wanted to buy an off-the-shelf Team XTR build, then you're looking at US$10,199. Specialized bike next, so we're getting to the price end of things. That this is the Specialized Stumpy Evo S Works Carbon, ridden by Charlie Murray for the Specialized Enduro team. This is nine thousand nine hundred pounds. Uh, Rock shocks and SRAM parts on here again. Uh, SRAM XX drivetrain with power meter as well, two thousand six hundred pounds. Look, titanium ultimate enduro pedals, <laughs> two hundred and eight pounds. Not just look, they're made by Look. <laughs> look at them. Uh, off the shelf, this bike comes in at ten thousand pounds or eleven thousand US dollars. So over to Forbidden Synthesis, they're running £11,390 builds. Uh, we've looked at Reese Verner's Forbidden Druid, which the frame roughly comes in at £3,249. He's got a quark power meter on that Axis drivetrain, which drives the price up as well. Uh, not to mention some Crank Brothers Synthesis DH wheels rolling on Chris King hubs. That's about £2,250 right there, almost as much <laughs> as the frame itself. Um, but if you wanted to buy a similar spec without the fancy wheels or power meter, you can pay $8,899 US dollars or $8,999 UK pounds. To the most expensive bike on the list from Trek Factory Racing, this is the Trek Slash Gen 6 for £11,990 as ridden by uh, Hattie Arndon. Rock Shocks again, Zeb Ultimate Fork, Super Deluxe Rear Shock, uh, Access Drivetrain as well, Pirelli tyres, Bergtech parts on this bike. Uh, again, if you want to buy one for yourself, off the shelf, similar spec, Trek slash Access is £11,750 or US dollars But that is an absolutely brand new bike, so it's not surprising it's at the top, is it really? Literally just released in the last week or two. Um, but isn't it surprising that the cheapest to the most expensive, well, the cheapest is about half the price of the yeah. most expensive, and it's still a pro bike. I guess nothing really surprising on the list. Some of the more expensive brands and then the direct brands at the cheaper end, but goes mm. to show that you know we have some of the fastest racers on some of the cheaper bikes as well, so it doesn't really mean anything, but well, everything, should I say? I know, and let's bear in mind that we have only looked at top specs here, and pro bikes, obviously. You can get into enduro with an enduro bike for, well, around about £2,000 these days. So, for example, a YT Capra Core 1, you can get €2,200. Canyon Spectral, an aluminium frame, comes in at €2,200. Um, and also a Vita Summit in carbon, £2,000. There's bargains to be had, isn't there? Yeah, obviously all these pro racers aren't buying their bikes either, <laughs> but it'd be interesting <laughs> if we look to the privateer end of the market to see what was maybe the most popular bike mm -hmm. there. Are the privateers buying the cheaper bikes to race on? 
We shall find out. Who knows? But anyway, guys, if you were given a bike, if you were suddenly pro um, and you could have any of the bikes in this list that we've just gone through, let me know down in the comments below what you would happily take on. Uh, would it be the most expensive? Who knows? Or uh, if you had to spend your own money, what would you be spending it on? Let us know down in the comments below and we'll see you again. Thanks.